Directory copy, a perfect way to move and manage data. As a software craftsman, I thrive attempting to solve a problem the best way it can be solved. I think that this project is a pretty good example of that. Let's take a look at the problem space. We have a computer that runs an app and has data. At some point, we're going to start caring about this data. The natural evolution is, one day, we'll look at our data and say, that is valuable to me. It would be bad if I lost it. So we copy the folder. As the value of the data increases, we will wonder further, what if I lost my laptop? So we buy an external drive and copy the folder to that drive. We're still not done worrying. What if somebody took my entire bag with my laptop and my backup drive? So we copy the data to the company network. Worrying pays when it comes to data. So we worry once more. What if something happens to the company network? Easy. It's called the cloud, right? At this point, I think we could probably say we have our bases covered, except we've created a ton of work. We've created several different ways and places to copy our data, and it's becoming quite the headache to keep track of all of it. More questions arise. What copies of data do I have where? Is it safe to delete this copy? What's the right version of my data? This is the problem space of directory copy. I think it's a pretty good answer to every stage of this growth and evolution. Directory copy utilizes snapshots to provide live file access. Briefly, when an application is accessing a file or a database, a snapshot is a mechanism that we can use to access the data in its valid state. A snapshot mechanism is provided by the operating system. The application is notified, flush your data, and then after a brief pause, the application resumes. The snapshot is maintained via copy on write mechanisms until the destruction after we've copied our data. With a snapshot in place, it is safe to duplicate the data. Directory copy also pays attention to delta states for example, if we have a folder, and in this folder we have a picture, a video, a document, and a database. Each of these files has associated with it a time, the last modified time. From within the context of a snapshot, we can trust that this time will be accurate enough to let us know if the file has changed since we copied it last. This allows us to only copy what has actually changed. Directory copy uses a philosophy of end to end, single instance everything. If we've done something before, we won't do it again. Take a computer with two folders. Within these folders, there is slight duplication and inter file variation. If directory copy has encountered a file before, that file will be discovered through a database query. Novel files that haven't been encountered before will be encoded and transported. Transportation, encoding, and storage only occurs once. Blended files, or files that contain some of the same data, will also be optimally encoded and transported, just the new blocks. All of these features are also available over a network protocol. We can query for existing blocks and also transport encoded blocks. What to look for in the coming demo? Directory copy is open source. Modern C++, test-driven development, 
it uses VSS snapshots, delta tracking, and single instance everything philosophy. Local folders or TCP protocol images are supported. Directory copy implements a command line interface that allows you to copy and fetch folders. Shallow and deep validation of that data is provided. Indexed image searching for file names is also available. Single objects can be fetched. Entire objects can be enumerated. Delta states can be checked. Files are divided into blocks. These blocks are salted and hashed. We can query the database for any of these blocks. Also, we have access to query based on the file hash, which allows us to screen for viruses and such. This project is built with other open source projects. Let's take a look at directory copy in action. This backup.json script is configured to backup about 500 megabytes of incompressible data. It's configured to run without any throttling, so it'll do a number on the CPU. I also had to change the priority of the OBS process just to be able to even record this. There we go, 21 seconds. It actually runs about twice as fast without OBS running. What happens when you execute the same script again? Instruct it to copy the same directory again. Yeah, that's what I thought. It checked the delta state and could tell that everything was the same as it was last time it finished backing up. What if we delete the snapshot, which is stored over here in the snap folder, and run the test again? This will prevent it from knowing about the previous backup and rely solely on the mechanisms in the image. Yeah, well that didn't take very long either. We can see right here that the duplicate value is equal to the read value. Every single block already was in the image. Moving on, we can run a validation script. We can run a deep validation script which checks the hash and contents of every block. Looks good. And we can restore the folder. Oh yeah, and I forgot, we can enumerate the contents of the directory from the image. There we go. Cool. As a final test, let's ask a third party application if the data we restored is the same as the data we copied. Looking good so far. Lots of green checks. Let's check some of their folders. Good and good.